Okay. Two things that have always given me a lot of trouble in sewing is sewing in batting and bias tape. And I'm going to demonstrate both of those in this video. Um, I found the, the method with the batting is just really easy and I love this method. So if you make bags, quilts, anything like that where you need to sew this in, this method definitely works. Things come out so much neater. If you sew and you've ever tried just like putting a pin on batting and sewing it on, you know it moves around everywhere. The trick is to pin a lot <laughs> like I'm doing here and I actually did it in sections because it was such a small project and because I learned the hard way that if you pin the whole thing around you're gonna stick yourself a whole lot while you're doing this so I would do a side at a time or two sides at a time just to keep it in place really well so you're gonna see me do that here and then I'll come back to you and talk about the bias tape when I get to that part Okay, so I did one side on camera and you'll see in a moment that both the, the, I, the batting is sandwiched between two pieces of fabric. I did the other one off camera and I feel like doing them separate like that um, was the best way to do it as well. It, you know, just make sure that everything is in place. But I have done it since doing this video. I have done it with the both pieces of fabric at one time. So with the bias tape, we're going to open it up. And you're going to open it till you've got that raw edge and it is on the edge of the fabric and you just want to pin a little bit and this is a process that if you don't take your time with it it's going to be a mess I did this several times before I got it right um, I just I get in too much of a hurry I don't like to take my time a lot of times I think and um, so you you have to have patience with this part your projects gonna look a lot better and your sanity's gonna still be there hopefully when you're done with this so I'm just gonna take my time and I'm gonna sew a, one side at a time and now to make this corner you just you want to fold it over kind of making a point with the fabric going away from you or the bias tape going away from you and then you want to make that fold like that and you'll be able to see it better when you're you actually are doing this hands-on it was really confusing to me when I looked up how to do this until I, I kind of played around with it myself and and did it but you want to create a corner and you don't want to sew over any of that that's folded over or overlapping you're just going to sew at that corner go around and then do the same thing on every other corner so okay so once you get to the end there you don't sew all the way to the end you leave yourself a little room do a fold over on the piece of bias tape that will be on the top side and then you just want to sew that up where you left it so you could fold it now you're going to fold it over onto the other side and do some pinning my suggestion would be to do a little bit of extra pinning and make sure that you really pull that back side down because I actually had some really frustrating errors with this. Um, but all in all, it did turn out pretty well. You know, it wasn't terrible. It's better than the ones I've done in the past. So that is it. I hope you enjoyed this little video. Peace, y'all. Bye-bye.